Andrew, welcome back to a brand new exciting video. I hope you guys, the Ann crew, are having a fantastic day. So this weekend, I actually shot my first wedding video. Technically, it was my second wedding video, but really, I don't count the first one because it was like three years ago. It was a lot of fun just to kind of mix up the style of videos that I'm shooting and filming and editing, and it was just a nice change of pace, and I really liked it. Anyways, guys, today we've got a really exciting video. Now, I know what you're thinking. Andrew, you say every single video is exciting. Well, yeah, I do, partially because every single video is exciting. If you guys are a fan of the man, the myth, the legend, Sam Coulter, if you've seen any of his work at all, one of the things that's definitely gonna pop out to you is that nice, crispy Sam Coulter text animation. Oof, it's so nice and it was one of the things that really first captured my attention when I watched Sam Coulter's video. Today I'm working with a company called Motion Can and they were nice enough to provide for you guys a free Sam Coulter text animation preset. I'm gonna show you guys how to use that preset, how awesome it is, and then I'm gonna show you guys an elements pack that they recently came out with. It is the best thing I've gotten for my After Effects in a long time. First off, we need to talk about how to install this Sam Coulter text animation preset. All right guys, so I'm on my computer now and I'm just on my desktop, but the first thing you're gonna have to do to get the Sam Coulter text preset is go down to the description of this video. There's gonna be a Google Drive link. You're just gonna hit that link and it's gonna download a file called Free Text Preset by Motion Can. So once you've done that, you're gonna go and find your Adobe After Effects file. This is gonna be the actual file for your After Effects program. I don't know why it's missing the actual thumbnail, but this is my After Effects file. Right click on it and hit open file location. It's gonna bring you to a whole bunch of files that are related to the After Effects application, but you're gonna go and find the folder called presets, double click that, and then just drag the free text preset file. So once it's in there, you're just gonna restart your After Effects program. I just made a quick composition to demonstrate this effect. Now just make a text layer. We're gonna call this Sam Colder. I'm also gonna use the font called Surfing Capital. Oh, by the way, guys, unless you have the proper licensing, make sure you don't use this font for any commercial work or anything like that. This font is available for free download only for personal use though. And then if you use it in a YouTube video or Instagram or something like that and the owner asks you to take it down, then just be respectful of them and make sure you're not infringing on any kind of copyright. But once you do that, you're gonna go over to effects and presets. I'm gonna go over to animate presets and then we're gonna drag the free text preset by motion can onto the layer. And that is literally how easy it is. If we play it through now, check this out. Now this is just a preset. So if you wanna change anything about it, you can go through and you can adjust all of the different aspects of the actual preset. I think this might actually be the first free downloadable version of Sam Coulter's animation text. But now guys, let's talk about this super, super cool elements pack for Adobe After Effects. It runs through an extension called Motion Bro, and through this Motion Bro plugin, it is the easiest user interface ever. I've had so much trouble with typography packs in the past, but this one works seamlessly. What it looks like is pretty simple. You have this little Motion Bro interface on the side, and there's just a whole bunch of different folders and types of elements you can use. Say we select one of these folders, it opens up, and now we have different subsections that we can use. And you can just scroll through and use any of these different elements. Say that I need a sleek Instagram animation. I can preview this animation by just hovering over it, and then say I like this animation, I can just select it. It'll take a couple seconds to load. And now, just like that, it is inside of our composition. Boom, it's that simple and it's such a sleek animation. There are so many different types of combinations you can do with all of these different typography elements. You literally, I literally, will never have to make an animation again. You scroll down, you can see like some cool Instagram animations. If I wanna use that one, I can select it. If I wanna scale it down, I treat it just like any other clip. I can reposition it. I can keyframe the animation itself just like I would for any other clip. It is so user-friendly and so high quality. There's these callouts, which are really impressive. You see a lot of big tech reviewers using animations like this. One of the most prominent ones would be MKBHD. Logo animations are really nice as well if you have a logo and you wanna make a quick intro for a video with it. There's all these different presets to use. But just like this, you can have a super professional looking logo animation. Finally, guys, the best thing about it, and this blew my mind. I literally was talking to my mom about this. It's the sound effects pack. This is the first typography elements pack I've ever used that actually includes a bunch of sound effects and not just sound effects, a ton of sound effects and really high quality sound effects. They have bubbles, data, whooshes, high quality whooshes. I mean, I'm going to use these for transitions like cinematic whooshes. They have clicks, bass, percussion. It's so useful. And just adding little sound effects like that to your elements really captures your audience's attention. So overall, guys, I'm going to start using these for pretty much all of my videos and I cannot more highly recommend this pack. 
pack. I'm gonna put a link to buy this pack at the top of the description and also at the top of the comments if you wanna check it out. And the reason that I think this pack is so useful and the reason I'm gonna use it so much is just because of the amount of videos that I create a week. I post three videos a week every single week. I'm also a student in high school and I have a job, technically two jobs that I have to do all on top of YouTube. So sometimes, a lot of times, I just don't have time to tailor make each animation for every single one of my videos. And that's why it's so useful to have these high quality professional animations that you can just slap onto your videos. So I'm just gonna do a quick demo of how I would use one of these titles. I would select it, it loads up on the screen, and then just to change the text, I double click on the composition, I select the text layer, I hit Control D on my, on my PC or Command D on Mac, and that brings up my text tool. Now I can just select the text and type in whatever I want. I'll type in and crew. If I want, I can change the font. I can adjust how far the letters are spaced. I can adjust anything about it just like I would any other text layer. I can select the text B, change it to whatever I want. And now I'm done. It's really that simple. So let's play it through and watch the animation. That is a very, very clean text animation. I love this pack so, so much, and I think that is about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you guys have not joined the Ann Crew, then first off, excuse you, and join the Ann Crew, because this is a place for creative entrepreneurs, aspiring editors, aspiring YouTubers, aspiring filmmakers, and just people like that. If you guys have not followed me on Instagram, then definitely follow me at AndrewJMES. Thank you guys for watching this video. I post Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so I'll catch you guys on Wednesday. Peace.